Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name's Liz and in today's video, I'm gonna show you how you can do four different DIYs using your Dollar Tree calendars. So let's go ahead and jump on in. So all of these calendars that I have are from previous years. This is a 2020 calendar and I love so many of the prints in this calendar. So for the first one, I am gonna take this mason jar one that says thankful, grateful, and blessed. I'm gonna cut that calendar right out. And then I'm gonna take one of these weed it and reap signs that you can also pick up from the Dollar Tree. And I'm just gonna start by tracing my little mason jar out around that sign. Now in the end, I just ended up cutting out the mason jar altogether. So you don't necessarily need to do this step. You just cut the mason jar straight out of the picture. And of course, you're not going to be able to get all the florals cut out from the picture itself. So I was okay with some of those florals sticking down on the mason jar. I'm going to use some florals that are pretty much the same color of the as those. So it's just going to blend all together. So you can see here, I'm just cutting my mason jar completely out from the picture. And after that's done, I'm going to take my Waverly Chalk Paint and Elephant. It's pretty similar to that darker color in the mason jar, which kind of looks like the background of the picture in the mason jar. So I just did probably about one and a half coats of this color on the entire sign. I'm going to let that dry. And then I'm going to take a glue stick and glue my my calendar picture right towards the bottom of the sign. And after I've got that done, I'm going to take my good old solo wood flowers. You guys know how much I love these. I will always have them linked down in my description box. They're so much fun to use and I just love all the different colors. I always just dump my solo flowers all into one big bin. These are my minis and they're just from a bunch of different assortments of flowers that I have. And then I'm gonna take some little greenery pieces that I keep in my stash of little clipped greenery. And I'm just gonna begin hot gluing everything down. Like I said, I'm gonna use these coral colored flowers on top of the coral colored flowers that were on the mason jar that makes sense so that it all just kind of blends in and then I just kind of started gluing the flowers where I thought that they would look pretty. I like to place my flowers kind of in an arrangement before I start gluing as well so I can kind of get an idea of what I want it to look like and then I just snip my little greenery pieces even more and put them in between my flowers, start making it look like more of a bouquet, and add some greenery in between the flowers. So it all just kind of comes together that way, and I absolutely love the way this looks. I did something a little bit similar um, several videos ago where I did rain boots and then solar flowers coming out of the rain boots. I'll link that video up above if you want to check it out, but I just think that it is so much fun to create little bouquets on signs like this with your solar flowers. I just think they are gorgeous. So I'm just going to take some of this lace ribbon that you can get from the Dollar Tree. All I'm going to do is wrap a piece around the top portion, hot glue it in place, and then do the same thing on the bottom. And then to finish the top off, I'm just going to create a little bow just by making two loops and tying them together like you would your shoes. So like a little shoelace bow. <laughs> and I just mess with the length of the loops a little bit until I get it the size that I want it. And then I'm just going to hot glue that to the middle of the other piece of lace that's on the top of my sign. I'll angle cut the tails for my bow and that's all you got to do for this DIY.
Now this next one is so simple and easy. I'm going to take one of these Wi-Fi signs that you can get from the Dollar Tree. I'm just going to pop off that little square on the front. I love tag signs and I absolutely love that this was kind of a medium size. It wasn't like the big tags like they have in their home decor section. This is just like a good medium size. So I was really excited when I found these. Now I'm going to take another picture from that same exact calendar. I'm going to cut that one right out. And I'm going to kind of place it on the back of that tag sign and try to get an idea of where I need to cut it. Now I just started cutting it into a square. I'm not going to fully cut it to the exact tag size quite yet just to cut it down and be able to go through and I cut it out with an exacto knife that's what I found works best for me so I just use a glue stick and I'm going to glue that picture right down to the tag sign and get it exactly where I want it and then I'm just going to take my Cricut exacto knife and cut off all the excess pieces of calendar around all of the sides I'll go through with my exacto knife and cut a hole where that hole is on the top of the tag and then I'm going to take some twine I'll wrap it around the bottom portion of my sign probably about four times and then I'm gonna tie a double knot and after I tied my double knot I decided I wanted kind of a chunkier knot look to it and I probably tied about five to six knots on top of that and then all I'm gonna do after that is take some more twine I'm gonna loop it around probably about four or five times and I'm going to string it through the hole on the top of my tag and then I'll tie it in a knot at the top, cut the loops and cut the excess twine towards the top so it's all nice and even. And that's all you have to do for this DIY. I think this one turned out so, so cute and it looks like such a cute sign. You never would have known that this was a calendar from the Dollar Tree. I'm so excited to talk about today's sponsor, which is Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of amazing classes that will inspire your creativity. They have classes that will fit your schedule and skill level. And as a busy working mom of three, being able to log in and explore all of their amazing classes at my own time and pace is a definite must. Most classes are under 60 minutes. I've explored watercolor classes, one line drawing and simple shapes and patterns. One class that I've been enjoying lately is Modern Watercolor Techniques by Kat. She has so many awesome tips and tricks and she explains everything really, really well. Skillshare is curated specifically for learning so there are no ads and they are always launching new premium classes. The first 1,000 of my subscribers to click the link in the description box will get a free trial of a premium membership so that you can explore your own creativity. So I will have that link down below. So for this one, I'm going to take a square sign from the Dollar Tree. This was during their Valentine's Day season. I'm going to take this picture from the exact same calendar that I've used in my previous two DIYs and I'm just going to start cutting it down. So I didn't want this home word on the top because I do have another piece that says home that I'm going to use. I am going to take this Cricut straight edge tool <laughs> ruler. I don't know exactly what it's called, but it's really, really helpful. It's from Cricut and it makes my life so much easier. So I just drew a straight line to get that homeward off of there. You could also use an X-Acto knife. I don't know why I didn't do that in this instance, but I just cut that down. Now this picture is not going to fit this sign completely for what I wanted to do with it. So I tried to find a piece of scrapbook paper that was going to match the best to the shiplap kind of look on the back of the calendar sign. So I found this scrapbook paper at Hobby Lobby that I had in my stash. I cut that down to the size that I need it and now I'm going to start gluing everything down. So I'm just going to use my glue stick and apply that to the back of that Dollar Tree sign. And then I'm going to take my calendar portion, I'll glue that down, and then I'm going to take my scrapbook paper and I'm going to slightly overlap 
the calendar picture on top of that. And then I'll just go through with my X-Acto knife and cut out all of the excess paper that's around the sign, get in those little notches so that you can see them from the front. I think that's such a cute little detail that the sign has. So once I have all of my excess paper cut out to blend the two pieces of paper in, so they don't look like two separate pieces of paper. I'm going to take some of my mineral chalk paint from Waverly and on a chip brush, I'm just going to start distressing everything. So I'm going to go over the scrapbook paper in this. I'll go over the calendar picture in this. I'm just trying my best to get these two pieces of paper to match. It's not going to matter too much because I am going to be covering up the majority of the bottom piece of this sign, so where that scrapbook paper is, but I just wanted it to look a little bit more natural, <laughs> not so, you know, like I stuck two different pieces of paper on there. And then I'll go in with my black chalk paint as well, and I just kind of do some dabbing here and there, get some black splotches everywhere again just trying to blend these two pieces together so i i felt like you know for it being two different pieces of paper it looked pretty good in the end so i'm just gonna take a black paint marker now you could leave this the way that it is but i wanted my words to really stand out so i just traced over all of my lettering in this black paint marker this is from arteza i'll link those down in the description box below i absolutely love them and these were super easy to work with so i just go through and trace over all of my letters now i picked up this home sign from the dollar tree it comes on a little stand. I remove the stand and I'm going to paint this all in my Craftsmart paint in parchment, I believe. And I probably could have taken the greenery off to make it a little bit easier while painting, but I didn't want to mess it up. So I tried my best to just paint around it. And I did probably about three coats of this color parchment paint um, covering up everything is not the easiest so it did take several coats and then I just slid this back onto the stand that it was on originally I'm going to apply hot glue all over the back of it and then towards the bottom where the stand is and I'll put that on the bottom of my sign push it all together and that's it for this DIY it can stand up on its own and I just think this turned out really really cute Now for this last one, I'm going to take the farmer's market calendar that is super popular from the Dollar Tree. I know these were really hard to find, but if you didn't know, the woman who illustrates all of these pictures has an Etsy shop where she has other prints that she puts up for sale. And I want to say she has these ones on there too. I'll link her Etsy page in the description box below, but I think it's absolutely fantastic if you weren't able to find this calendar you can go on and purchase our prints and they are beautiful so i'm gonna take the home frame that you can get from the dollar tree i'm gonna remove everything from the back and i'm gonna take the glass in there and trace out this page from this calendar with the little creamery milk picture i just thought this was so so cute so i'm just going to cut this down to size I'll replace it into the frame, allow the backing back in, and then I'm going to take some extra little greenery pieces that I had. I'm just going to kind of cut them down and hot glue them in that top corner of the frame. And once I have all of those glued down, I'm going to take this farmhouse ribbon that is also from the Dollar Tree. I'm going to make a simple shoelace bow out of it. I'll dovetail the ends. And then I'm just going to hot glue this right in the middle of that greenery. And that's it for this DIY. I think this turned out so cute. This was so simple to make. It probably took me 10 minutes and I absolutely love this one.
Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Let me know what your favorite one was in the comments down below. Don't forget that this upcoming Sunday is my last launch for my summer craft kits i'll link my website down below it's just more decal and decor.com where you can go on and purchase my honey and my lemon and my patriotic craft kits right now and then stay tuned for my release on sunday i'm so excited for you guys to see this one and i think you guys will love it don't forget to subscribe before you guys leave give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it and i'll see you in my next one bye